Hi everybody, it's Julie and welcome to the messy desk. I'm going to be working on some more items for the 60th junk journal challenge here on the Dear Julie Julie channel. This is our stash buster, the September stash buster, and I need a layered belly band. Well, on Friday at our fun day, I went ahead and used our freebie that's available in all the places. I used this, I used the envelope, and I realized that it was going to make a really cool, um, <clears throat> excuse me, belly band. So I need it to be layered. So this is one layer. This is going to be two. And I'm going to go ahead and add this fabric layer as my third layer. Okay. So now um, this needs to be like five and a half inches or less. So I'm going to go like right to here. And that's where I'm going to cut my, my little... This was in my scrap, scrap my blue scrap box. I, I apparently had a box, a box of blue stuff. I was like, oh, well then we need to use this, okay? So, um, so that is how wide I can go, okay? That's as wide as I can go. And then for this way, I want to be able to see it underneath my fabric. So I'm going to go ahead and give it, a, give it a little fold. We'll come over here, line it up, and we'll cut that. Okay, so now I have these two little blue pieces that I'm going to put up here so that hopefully we'll use those. I, I'm, I, I do have a mess here because I just finished <laughs> the Friday freebie um, fun day video I showed we introduced some more of the design team there was an awesome giveaway by Sarah from Sarita sales we had some giveaways I give away two digitals because we had 35 people watching then we had 60 people watching so that was really exciting and so I'm going to go ahead and I, I'm going to do this one first. And remember, I have this opening on here, so I don't really need it to do anything else, I don't think. Now, I do, I'm going to have this have a little tab go off the edge. And, okay, so that way... I can sit towards the edge. Come on. Okay, so, so the envelope is layer one. Fabric is layer two. We'll go ahead and cut just a little bit off here. Get that fraying going. Okay, and then this can sit on here and this can come off the edge. Okay, so this is going to be a belly band. I'm going to go ahead and let this part be a pocket because I love pockets and I cannot lie. So we're going to go down here, across, and up. Okay, and turn this over. Okay, so I'm gonna have a little pocket right here. Okay, I'll have my, my pocket there, my pocket there, and this is going to be my layered belly band. Now, I already have my three extra things going on here. And so that is awesome. And I'm excited because we used one of the items that I made on during the video on Friday. 
And I'm going to put this in this page back here. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add glue to this and pop it over because um, it ended up in the center and I don't want it to to block the center in any way, shape, or form. So I'm just going to come over and fold it over, push it down. Okay, that'll give me a nice edge on that side. I have this happening on this side. And then that can go in there as a belly band. And I used fabric as one of my pieces for the base of this. And a scrap box. Oh, shoot. Yeah, you saw that. We're going to have to come back and <laughs> do something about that. Luckily, it's fabric tack, so it will come off pretty easily. <laughs> Things are flying, falling. Okay, grab our one of my favorite things from Dollar Tree is the glue eraser. Okay. So hopefully it's still wet enough to, to go down in there. And there we go. We have a layered belly band. That is one of the things that we needed to make for this challenge. And hooray. Okay. So layered belly band with a mystery done. It's got that funny, fun little mystery pocket and we used fabric or remnant and we used scrap box. Okay. So hooray. That is, that is finished. This is our mystery right here. And again, we made that at the Friday fun day. So that has a place that something can go in there. And that is the mystery. So you'll put, so say we put this in here like this. Okay. And then we come back and we put this little school book one in like that. And then we have a pocket here also, okay? And then we have our, well, put that in the pocket too, okay? But we also have our belly band, okay? So something large is gonna be able to go in there, okay? So layered belly band, one, two, three layers. It needs to be embellished with three items. We've got napkin. We've got a sticker that I couldn't make a sticker, so I um, put tape on the back of it. We've got one of the little mini postcards here, and that is from the digital that um, is the one sheet digital you receive when you win a prize at a Dear Julie Julie live video. Okay. Or for doing the thing when okay so there we have put it in with our um, flip-flop and so we have a belly band there okay so this is our flip-flop page that we started the other day and it needs a flap and so um, we can put our flap here or put it on the front. I think I want to put it on the front. And I think we'll go ahead and 
come over and I think we'll use this. Okay, so we have this and we're gonna wanna back it and I'm just gonna back it with paper for right now, okay? I think that that will be fine to just back it with paper and that's gonna make it stronger, okay? So we want our Okay, so adding a flap to our flip-flop. Go ahead and put that down. And we'll go ahead and cut around the outside of this. And this will finish up when we get this flap done, we'll be able to mark off our flip-flop with flap. We had already put the flip-flop in. I showed you the, the page idea of a flip-flop. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and ink this. I just ink things now, right? Ink and ink and ink. And I do need to do both sides because the other side will show up when it's turned over, possibly. Okay. I don't know where it's gonna go down, so I'll just go ahead and ink the whole thing. So, there we go. So this'll go on here okay and I was trying to decide whether I wanted to make a pocket there I think I will I think we'll go from the dots and around okay so Looking for the dot. Oh, I can see it. Oh, come on. So yes, I, I am, when I, I'm just making a journal, I'm all over the place because that's how my creativity works. It's like, I don't want to be <laughs> bogged in doing the, it's like, oh, I want to do this. So, okay, but I want to finish things too at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to put this down. I want to look at this over here. And I'm looking at that. We'll go ahead and put it down. Okay, so this is our flap, and let's see, if we were to um, decorate this with our three things, I'm also thinking that maybe we might want a little something over here. I was kind of thinking we had a little round piece. <laughs> I don't know where it's at. There it is. This little round piece. Let me see how it looks. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like that. Kind of like that. So we're going to go ahead and distress it. has those other great colors that are in the parakeet part of the digital that I'm using. Okay, and that will help hold that down. But I am going to need it to stay glued, like really well. Okay. 
So that'll hold the whole little flip flop closed. Okay, we have this. Now I have this piece. It's like a corset piece from the, I think we can make a little pocket out of this because I love pockets and I cannot lie. We'll go up. So this is from the blue pages of a pattern and it just has that really cool look to it that I was like, oh, we can use that because it has that really cool look to it. Okay. So we've inked it. We've added a sewing piece and I think we'll go with some music. We'll go ahead and cut this, rip this all the way down. Okay. So using the things that we've been using all along. So, so going to be our belly band. This is our flap for our flip flop flap. And you know what? I did, um, I got some items ready so that we'd have, we'd have things ready that we could put into pockets. Okay, so I think that that is, that is going to be good right there. Okay, that is our flip-flop flap. We can hold something in it. Pattern, wrapping paper, ink. We've also added this little from our stash scrap scrap box okay so all that is gonna hang out there and then it'll go underneath there perfect okay now we have a compromise on this I'm gonna go ahead and just add some glue Okay, so go ahead and do that. Fold it over. And then we'll add a a little postcard. Little postcards is the first giveaway. When you win a prize, you get the tiny postcards. I'll we'll just put it right up to the edge, just like that. Okay. That should make that stronger to be able to go underneath there. Not worry about the place where this was ripped. Okay. Now, remember the other thing that I didn't do was I hadn't... I hadn't um, distressed this, so we'll just go around and distress this. I'll just take it from the inside to the outside. I'm not putting it down at this time because um, I don't want the lines from... this to show up. Okay, so we'll go across, go up and across, and across. And across down here. Okay. That 
that goes down. And you know what? Let's go ahead and distress. It's distressing to distress, you guys. It's so distressing. So I hope uh, you check out Friday's live video. Um, introduced our design team, the rest of it. So we did two Friday fun days um, and introduced our the Dear Julie Julie design team. Pretty exciting. And yeah, so we're going to go ahead and let that go down. That'll come over and sit right in there. Okay. So um, eventually I'll probably add a bird from the bird kit there. But we have a flap and we have our belly band. So I can go ahead and actually mark the flip flop with the flap off. And it's marked off. Okay. Um, let's see. Trying to get as many of the, the required things finished. Okay, so there's a big pocket there. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to do this on here. Okay. So I am going to take one of these blue papers. And Okay, so we have 11 inches divided by three. That'll give us nine and then two left. So if we go three and a half inches, three and three quarters three and five eighths that's what we'll do we'll go three and five eighths so I'm going to come down and mark this one two three one two three four five five eighths and then stop then okay so I marked it at three and five eighths then I'm going to come back and line it up and count again. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, eight. Okay. And this one's going, the bottom one is going to be a little bit bigger. Okay. So the bottom one is going to be, this one is going to be my bottom fold. Okay. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to fold this. And... I'm gonna fold it into that edge. It might be a little off, so that's why I've only kind of just marked it. Okay. So there is, there is, there's that. Okay, so we've got that. Okay, now I've got an envelope here. This was for one of the double tucks that I have, and I just wanted to do something different. So this is going to be my fold out, okay? 
So I did an accordion piece, okay, accordion piece. You could also use one of the Dear Julie Julie tag digitals to do this and fold at your, at your tag places, okay? So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna fold this down, okay? Fold that down and then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna fold it up. Okay, so I've got all this blue happening here. Okay. And this can all still pop out, fold out. Okay. Now, for putting it down onto the page, I'm gonna go ahead and put this up against something because I want this to be a little bit stronger. I just happen to have, that's not quite big enough. Darn, 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 darn. Okay. Do I have a second page from that? How about this one? I mainly just need it to go across the top. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and I just want the this to be stronger, okay? Because if it's gonna be a pocket, it needs to be stronger. And heck, I've got the Got the line on it that we had on it that that we had from the other day okay do I have where are the green scissors over here I didn't even put stuff away after the video because I just I'm just like you just need to get some stuff made you need to have more stuff done 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 Jules okay so, okay, so this is a different way. Now, we've done this before. Um, we came out, we did a, a fold where they came in, and then we fold that down and folded it in a flap. Um, that's what we did the last time. Now, you could just leave this and, um, and put something across here. But I thought it would be kind of fun to have a flip right there. Okay. Okay, so some So, and I'm doing things differently this time. So you need a full full page. Eight and a half by eleven page that folds up and flips out. Okay. A full eight and a half by 11 page that folds up and flips out. It attaches. It says on the thing that it needs to attach. And so I'm going to show you how this is going to attach here in just a moment. Right now we're going to go ahead and go and distress it so that it, it matches. So, well, it sure was fun to see everybody at the, the live on. Friday. I really appreciate that you came and supported the channel. Okay, so this is the one that is going to attach. So these, these need to, they're going to come out. Okay.
So you can come up with your own way or you can do one of the fold outs that I've already done on, on this channel. And when you post your picture in your album in the challenge group, show us how yours um, folds up and how it folds out. Okay, so, sh so there should be two pictures of your fold out page. And then like anything with a mystery, you're gonna show us a picture of your item and then how it's how it has a mystery so a mystery is a pocket that's unexpected or unseen or hidden and it's um, different than your hidden um, your hidden piece well, how did I miss a whole pay part <laughs> okay so again since I did this in tr in three pieces this could be done with a um, tag page so maybe I'll do one with a tag page later um, we'll see just to okay so there's that comes down and we're having this flip up that is my piece that I'm going to add and I chose remember I was saying the other day that I needed something to go on here I also want this to open up so I'm going to go ahead and open this vintage awesome envelope and then um, my pocket for inside, oh man, okay, well, I think this is just going to sit down on here. I don't think it needs to be another pocket because you've got this, this pocket happening. Hmm. Could have a pocket here and the pocket there. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay. Because that's that was my plan. So we'll go ahead and just put glue on the edges, the three edges. Okay. got glue coming off. Let's grab something to grab that glue. Okay. So that sits on there comes out, flips up, and open. Okay? That's what we're going to do with our little flippy there. And I think I'm going to go ahead and trying to figure out how to you know what the, I think the best way to do this would be a paper clip okay and I'm gonna have to make some paper clips for uh, one of my my things I'm gonna go ahead and put a paper clip here I think that's gonna be our best bet for holding all that together is just doing a paper clip 
Okay, I want to give this a really good fold. Okay. Okay. Now, we need to decorate it with three things. We used um, trash. Okay, so that scrap paper was trash. And the blue was from my from my scrap box, but but it's not like old or anything. Um, I'm thinking a piece of of that, and I'm gonna just use this, okay. Okay, so we put the glue down and we'll pull this piece out so that the glue doesn't stick to that. And then figure out which corner we want to use. I'm going to use this one. Now it's got the bird on it. That's got a bird. Faster, Julie. Some napkin. I like that. I think we'll go with a sticker. the white and we did we inked it so inking counts oh I almost threw the wrong side away <laughs> And I'm going to take those and put those right up to the edge. Okay. Okay. So there's my fold out. Full page. It needs to be a full page. It needs to be attached in your journal somewhere. So mine is attached. I attached it to this so that I would have a stronger area. Um, and then it's going to get a paper clip. Okay. And it's the pretty side of the paper clip will probably be on this side. Okay. So, yeah. So our flip out, I think that's what it's called is a flip out fold out. Let's see. What do we got here? We have, um, Fold out flip attached. Okay, so that's it. Fold out flip attached. Oh, we forgot to mark it off. And it's got its three items to decorate it. And so that's another one we get to mark off. And um, so I need to look at my list and see if there's anything else I need to do before I make the cover and bind the journal. So I just thought that that was going to be easier to work with it before that was in the journal. And that is just how I am doing things. Um, we used some trash. We've used stencils. We've used book pages. Stamps and remnant. Okay. Um, okay, so our cover embellished. Fabric pocket, we can do that on the inside. 
I'm going to put a little fabric flip with stack a note. We can do that on the inside. Double corner tuck with mystery on the inside. Waterfall with four flaps, all flaps embellished on the inside. Newish flip flop mini journal embellishment that can do um, separate. New door after door can also go onto a page on the inside. Okay. And so, yeah, so I have all of these to make, but they're going to be really cool because they just, um, they're the things that are going to go inside the items that I've made. Okay. So today we did that flip out embellishment. Okay. And you need to use a eight and a half by 11 paper and make it so that it's attached to something to the journal. Okay. Something that's in the journal. This is on a page in the journal. And then we did our flap for our flip flop. Okay. So there's our flip flop pages and our flap and that makes that so that one's finished and we're able to to mark it off so we did our flip-flop in the pages video and so we had this little um panel okay so you could use this and you could use your friday freebie and make panels for the panel part of using these three things could could use those to make panels just just so you know okay we did add from the pattern we added this fun little pocket we'll probably put some birds in here and added some of the music there and then you open it up and we have our layered belly band i used the envelope from Friday Freebie. If you watch the Friday video, this is the first thing I made in the video. And you can see that I um, cut it and I glued it together so that I made an envelope out of this envelope that we're able to use. We've got our mystery here. We can also put things in this pocket to help hold it down. It is layered. You need to have three layers on a layered um, project. So we have one, we have our fabric as two, and we have the mat card as three. And then this will be a belly band and we'll be able to put something large down behind there. Okay, so pretty exciting, I think, pretty exciting. So belly layered belly band is finished. The flip flop with the flap is finished and our fold out pull out is finished okay so three more things three more things done and yeah so tomorrow um we'll see what we're gonna do <laughs> we'll see where my brain goes for tomorrow Thank you so much for being here. Remember, there is a full library of digitals in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop just waiting for you to purchase and be able to download immediately and use. And they are a lot of fun. There's all different varieties. Let me know if there's something specific that you're looking for and we'll help you find it. Okay? Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. Don't forget to do the thing. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.